When we look at a fossil, we're seeing a snapshot, a particular moment in time that happened millions of years ago. But just like with your photo album, not all snapshots happened at the same time. You've got photos from when you were younger and some that were taken more recently. So when we look at fossils, how do we tell which ones are older or younger than others? Do you see the layers of rock there? When we examine the stratigraphy, we're looking at those layers of rock and how they stack up with one another. The law of superposition says that the rocks at the bottom of the section are older than the rocks at the top. Similarly, any fossils buried deeper in the section are older than fossils we find higher up. Pretend this is sediment, like a lot of mud being washed in from a flood. Here we have a dinosaur. He's running around doing dinosaur things. Meow, meow. And then one day, he dies. When the flood comes along and deposits all that sediment in there, it buries him and he fossilizes. Here's another dinosaur. This one is alive and running around while the first dinosaur is long since dead and buried. When this one dies, he gets buried by sediments that are deposited on top of the old ones. Now not all sediments are the same. Let's say that when this dinosaur comes along and dies and gets buried, ah, it's by a big nasty gravelly conglomerate as represented by Cheerios. Ah, ah. Boom! Think back to the first dinosaur we buried. We buried him before all the others, so the layer he's in is all the way at the bottom. As time passed, more layers built up on top of the old ones. That's the law of superposition, and that's why the fossils and the rocks that we find lower in this section are older than the ones we find up at the top. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video, and uh, stop by the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Oh man, science tastes amazing. <laughs>